Well, today might not be just for fathers. It could also be an opportunity to teach boys and young men how to be good role models. Now, the character company aims to do just that. It mentors boys who lack positive male figures in their lives and helps them become contributing members of society. To tell us more is Yako van Skalkveik. He's from the character company. Yako, a very good afternoon to you and happy Father's Day to you as well. So for, for those who don't know too much about the character company, just a, a very brief idea of what it is you actually do. Thank you very much, and it's great to chat with you again. So the Garrett Company is a long-term mentorship program for young boys that are growing up with absent fathers or who do not have positive male role models in their lives. Um, I mean, current statistics, and probably a little bit old by now, is that 67% of our children in South Africa are growing up in single-parent homes. And in our experience, four out of five boys do not have a positive male role model in their lives. And so our heart really is to, to change that, or to break that cycle, because... Essentially, that's where our country is. Our, mm. our country is an unfathered and unmental society, and, and the stuff that we're dealing with, um, essentially, even if you just take the top three issues, gender-based violence, corruption, racism, um, that, that's just a result of not enough dads being around. Mm. And so we want to fix that. And so we, um, we want to get dads in the, in the, back into those spaces, and where they know dads, we want to get positive male role models into the lives of these young men. Now, Yaka, somebody might say to you, you know, sometimes uh, th th there are certain male figures or, or an actual father, let's just call a spade a spade, might not be the best influence in their child's life. That is, you're actually better off not having that father than, than actually having him in your life. But, but what are the dangers or, or, or what's the, the sort of impact of not having some kind of male figure in your life, however well your mom might be doing the job, your single mom might be doing the job, but what happens when you just don't have that or any kind of of male figure in your life? And so I think in our experience, you know, we, we, we've, we've got boys in the program that comes from very abusive backgrounds. And so I do agree. I think that they, they, there were times that I really came to a point that I realized that an absent father in some cases were not a bad thing. But the problem with that is that, you know, as we grow up for every boy, th there's some specific stuff that we need. And we need that from a positive male role model. I mean, we work with a lot of um, really awesome moms. Our moms are holding it all together. And the reason why there's still a gap in the life of the boy. It's not because mom is not good enough. It's just because she's not dad enough. Um, uh, a boy needs that positive male role model to reinforce certain of these concepts in his life. And, and it's essentially between the ages of 5 and 10, rough, roughly around there, is where a dad's impact in his child's life, boys and girls, is the highest. And, and a boy walks around with a question of, you know, do I have what it takes? Am I, am I good enough for this? And if a dad's not there to answer that, what essentially starts happening is you have in those very formative years where where character development's happening and, and discipline and, and value systems are set down, is you've got a boy that grows up with low self-esteem, complete lack of identity or struggling identity, um, and that just kind of compounds throughout our life. And, you know, what, what we're dealing with right now in our country is, again, just that. It's not, you know, we're not dealing with toxic masculinity as much as we're dealing with confused masculinity. Mm. And, and it starts because there's no one there to guide these young men. And we see that in our program. You know, the moment you put... Uh, what we call a fat guy, faithful, available, and teachable. You put him in that space, and, and, you, and he becomes part of a family of, 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 of guys and brothers that supports him and mentor him. Um, you know, he gets to pay that forward to a generation of young, of young men that, that just, they, they just want this. They just want someone to be there for them, just to, to you know, this is not rocket science. It's just someone yeah. that's going to walk this road with me, someone that's not going to pretend that they've got all the answers, but just going, you know what, I know you're struggling and this life is hard, but we're going to do this together. Now, we are living in very, very difficult times where it's very difficult to physically be there uh, for someone as a male figure, for um, a young boy, for, for, for anybody to be present and, and, and to teach them these things. So, so how, do we, how do we sort of adapt to where we are right now? How does somebody become a mentor and, and, and just be there for a young boy who's not necessarily his, his blood son or his biological son? But, but how do we do that considering where we are uh, at the moment in the middle of this pandemic? and it's getting worse. So I think the question is not should you get involved. The question is just how are you mm. going to get involved? You know, um, right now, I mean, we, 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 are, we are putting in stuff, you know, new terms for young people to grow up with, stuff like social distancing, no-touch policy. And, and frankly, if you could get the no-touch policy right as gender-based violence, you know, government could put some effort, effort into that as the way they do with other stuff right now, then, uh, then it would have been a good thing. But we have a, we've got boys growing up and I mean, essentially, boys, especially at that young formative age, they just they adventurers and explorers. They just want to get out there and, and climb trees. And and uh, and right now, boys are in environments where you know adults are so confused, and adults are walking mm. around going, like, "What am I doing with this?" And what we see often in the moms is your know, moms coming back and saying, "You know, we, we, we're seeing 
boys that are that are dealing with real issues like depression right now because they don't get to do those things. And so we, we really have to keep our eye on the ball here because the impact from this is going to come mm. back at some point um, in, a, in a really yeah. horrendous way for us. And so we have to get in there. So one of the things we did last year, and it's really not the, it's not the ideal scenario, but we decided when the first lockdown happened that we will not stop mentoring. And so a lot of our groups at those hard lockdown stages shift over to online sessions. We made sure that we had um, data available for moms and for mentors and, and they could check in with our boys still on a regular basis. And... Um, and I always say, you know, if you want to put your life in perspective, you should camp with five-year-olds. But if you really want to mm-hmm. do it, you should yeah. have five-year-olds in a Zoom call. I mean, that's a, that's <laughs> a different ball game. But, yeah. it's, um, but we still, it was important to still check in with the boys. And so our mentorship program right now is just, you know, you go to our website, you, you sign up to become a mentor, you go through the process. Uh, we still have groups um, that are running where, where our mentors are comfortable and moms are happy to do that. Um, you know, we keep social distancing as much as we can. Uh, but we, we, we still we still continue the, the high impact stuff mm. with these boys wherever we can in safe yeah. and responsible environments because it's important. Yeah. Uh, we cannot again. I mean, you know, if we just look at even before lockdown, you know, the 17 year old that got involved in a gang rape or a school stabbing, it was a five year old that we ignored. We as a society, yeah. we did that, um, and we we can't keep on turning our back on these young people. I mean, we. We, we really have to step yeah. up. And for men out there, and I think this is today, you know, there's some amazing dads and, and a happy Father's Day to those guys. I mean, it's just, I look, I think of all the mentors of the character company that are stepping into the gap for these boys. I mean, these are phenomenal yeah. guys. And you put them in parliament, we, we have a country that's sorted, I can tell you that. All right. um, while we're raising a generation of guys that's going to do it. But there are so many boys out there today that are just, just wanting someone, just one guy just to be there and going yeah. like, you know what, you've got what it takes. You know, you, you are good enough. You are, you're a beloved son, and so we're going to do this. And um, and we have to start doing that. We yeah. cannot keep on ignoring our younger boys that are growing up to be confused men Absolutely. that are acting out in those spaces, and then we upset because they do. This is our responsibility. We have to do that.